Hello guys and welcome to another video. Um, we're taking a look at Need for Speed goes back to Criterion ending ghost games. So uh, Criterion used to be the uh, developer for uh, Need for Speed. It switched over like some um, five, six years ago, like the last th th three Need for Speeds I think were made by ghost games. Um, and now EA is shutting that down and changing that to EA Gothenburg. And um, the uh, game development's going back over to Criterion. So let's take a look at the article real quick here. Uh, Ghost Games, makers of the last three Need for Speed games for Electronic Arts, has been dissolved, and the racing series is being handed back over to Criterion Games. Electronic Arts confirmed the franchise overhaul in a statement to GamesIndustry.biz, acknowledging that as many as 30 positions at Ghost Games could be at risk. The remaining staff will form an engineering hub called EA Gothenburg and support development across all of the company which is kind of like what they were doing uh, before they took over Need for Speed anyway. Uh, a tipster identifying themselves as a former uh, Ghost Games and future Criterion employee described the same arrangement to Polygon, adding that Ghost Games workers in Romania would, re would uh, reabsorb into other teams working at that location. EA in its statement said it would transfer some positions from Gothenburg, Sweden to Criterion, located in Guildford, England. Criterion, best known for the Burnout series on the previous two console generations, developed 2010's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and 2012's Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, two Need for Speeds that I actually did like. Um, but in the fall of 2013, development of Need for Speed Rivals shifted entirely from Criterion to Ghost Games, with the majority of Criterion developers at the time reassigned to an office called Ghost Games UK. Criterion was supposed to work on another title, an unnamed extreme sports game revealed at E3 2014. But studio co-founders Alex Ward and Fiona Sperry had left the company at the beginning of 2014, and the unnamed project was scrapped. Criterion has spent its time since then supporting development of Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and most recently Battlefield 5's Firestorm Battle Royale mode. Need for Speed Heat was the best reviewed of the three games made since production shifted entirely to Ghost Games although its numerical scores would still be considered average. Need for Speed Rivals launched two months after Ghost Games was placed in charge. The game's official Twitter account said Need for Speed Heat's launch week saw more players than any other Need for Speed title this generation. But Blake Jorgensen, EA's chief financial officer, told investors on January 30th that Need for Speed is kind of as we expected, meaning 3 to 4 million copies sold based on previous guidance. So um, I think this could be a good thing for Need for Speed. I would hate to see the franchise go away. Um, I do love racing games. I've gotten into Forza Horizon the past couple times. Three and four were really good. Uh, I used to play Need for Speed a lot. I absolutely loved um, back when it was Need for Speed uh, Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, um, Hot Pursuit. Uh, Carbon. I even liked, uh, really liked Need for Speed Carbon. So I really liked those games back then. I haven't been a huge fan uh, lately. I really didn't care for Payback. Um, Heat is actually pretty good, um, but it's optimized horribly. Um, it runs horribly on a lot of systems, almost every system. It, it has like half the performance of any other racing game. I just put a video out yesterday uh, highlighting how bad the performance of uh, Need for Speed Heat really is. If it wasn't for that, I would probably play the game even more. Um, it's not, not that bad considering, but um, yeah. So hopefully this will be good for Need for Speed. I'd love to see the franchise really make a comeback. I'd love to see the next Need for Speed be like I don't know, Underground 3 or some other kind of Most Wanted or uh, maybe dig deeper into that kind of kind of thing for the next game and definitely next-gen graphic, uh, next-gen engine. And I don't mean current Xbox X and PS4 Pro. I mean next-gen, like Series X and PS5 and RTX 3000 series and all that. I wanted to take full advantage. Um, I want to see the next Need for Speed that comes out um, be a real top arcade racer. All right, guys, uh, pretty short video. I just wanted to check this out. It was interesting that uh, Need for Speed is going back to Criterion. Hope that means good things. Uh, thanks for coming and checking out the video. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and feel free to leave a comment below letting me know what you think about Need for Speed going back to Criterion. You think it's a good thing, a bad thing, don't care. Um, and have you liked the uh, past three Need for Speeds or not? Would you like to go back to more of an underground uh, type style? Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you in the next one.